This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. Check out this special deal for my subscribers. With the majority of the world's workforce now working from home, VPN security is now preferred. Cyber spying is at an all time high, and a useful tool that you can use to protect yourself is a VPN, or Virtual Private Network, to scramble your computer's identity from nosy cyber criminals. Here, let me show you how easy this is to protect yourself. I'm going to go to www.virtualshield.com or you can also use the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Virtual Shield free 30-day trial. Once you've signed up, simply log in, download the free trial, and install it. Once I'm connected, my IP address is now different than before. See? Virtual Shield is the easiest to use, has the fastest server connections, and offers a money-back guarantee. Due to the recent pandemic of COVID-19, Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up now for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. So we'll continue to watch these pictures. We'll watch it all play out. We're going to take, it, take you through it calmly. What we don't want to do is upset people at home. We want you to be calm. The situation, uh, as we are watching it here, we're going to take you through it as calmly as possible. This is now a live picture of Dallas, Texas, where you can say where you can see protesters have gathered on the streets here of Dallas, Texas. Uh, I haven't heard any reports from Dallas, Texas of anything that has gotten out of control. Those people are out there complaining because they don't have haircuts. Who the hell do you think you are? And if you're so upset about it, you should be mad at the president. And you're protesting against, uh, uh, you're, you're, you're slapping the faces of the people who are the healthcare workers who put their lives on the line every day because you want a haircut, you want to go play golf, you're concerned about, of course you're concerned about your business. Tell the president that. And you're out there with, with, um, with guns, with, with weapons strapped to your chest? What is wrong with people? I don't understand what is wrong with people. Stay at home. It's now just sort of a, a merry caravan. It is worth pointing out that it has been entirely peaceful, sometimes angry, but entirely peaceful. Bottle thrown, uh, which is not uncommon. Entirely peaceful, bottle thrown, uh, which is not uncommon. So there is some of that. And that these weren't armed protesters. He, by the way, has called them good, even though they're threatening. They're standing in Lansing, Michigan, in front of the state capitol, armed to the teeth. I think it's a sign of radicalization. We have seen a segment of society radicalized. Uh, there are roots of it going back many years, but it's happening in front of us every day Peter Winter, is that, is that too harsh a statement, radicalization? CNN is here to tell the story. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, CNN is not being victimized, all right? People are attacking the building. They're attacking a lot of things. But you know who retweeted the report calling them great people. Now, does it surprise anyone? Does it surprise you, Joy? Boston Tea Party, despite its name, was not a party. It was a protest. It was a riot. What I'm saying is the very foundation of this nation is based upon what's happening right now. I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. These protests came after President Trump uh, tweeted, uh, liberate Michigan. He tweeted, quote, the governor of Michigan should give a little, put out the fire. Uh, it, he said that these are very good people uh, about the, which the executive director of the Jewish Democratic Council of America Haley uh, Sofer, who is from Lansing, Michigan, she compared those comments to President Trump referring uh, to those marching alongside neo-Nazis in Charlottesville as very fine people. Welcome back, everyone. Like many of you all, I've been staying up late the last couple nights watching coverage of these riots across the country. And I don't know about you all, but it's getting to be a little bit more than maddening watching the hypocrisy, contradictions, and blatant disregard for the facts. Isn't it funny that the moment coronavirus hysteria is neutralized, the media serves up nationwide riots to replace it? What happened to all the hand-wringing about large gatherings in public? Where's all the concern about spreading the virus? So uh, the people there are just not worried worried about it, Cal? Are they not worried about their own personal safety? I haven't met anybody who is. It's just around. Nobody's wearing them. Nobody's, uh, the there you go, including the cameraman. Yeah. 
Katie. The media spent weeks demonizing peaceful lockdown protesters as racists, Nazis, and terrorists, in part because they were allegedly not wearing masks. Any concern for the coronavirus seems to have gone right out the window. It's like I always say, the only legitimate protest is one organized by the left wing and pushing a left wing agenda. It is amazing to me that these people can be out there destroying businesses nationwide, many of them black owned, attacking people and even storming CNN headquarters all the while while they assure us that there's nothing wrong with this and they're not being victimized. They're even attacking journalists, which I thought was one of the highest crimes one could commit, but now is suddenly not indicative of the protest itself. As it would be framed if these were hardworking patriots peacefully protesting an unconstitutional lockdown. All of these things should be part of this so-called conversation, but it's not a conversation, is it? It's propaganda backed up by violent malcontents who are looking for any reason just to burn it all down, leading me to believe that this has all been engineered and orchestrated. And why wouldn't they? We're five months away from a presidential election that they're really worried they're not going to win. This is just the latest in a long string of media manipulations to influence this election. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It's really helpful to this channel. If you'd like to support it, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.